What's going on YouTube? Remix Serial here back with another video. It has been quite a few weeks since I uploaded my last video, which was around uh, the 24th on, in December. Um, I've got I got a lot of things going on in the background. And um, as you know, I have a 2016 Ford Mustang V6 and I have a 2014 Chevrolet Corvette. And um, the reason I bring that up is because a lot of a lot of work has been done to the Mustang that you guys haven't seen yet. And I wanted to actually make a little bit of a, of a review of some winter tires I actually have on my Corvette. Um, because the Mustang is my daily driver and I live here in, in central Illinois, we get really bad winters, really cold weather. And this is the car that I've been driving for the past month and a half when the, when the Mustang has been away. Um, so I've got some uh, special tires on the car that I want to talk to you guys about. So let me go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Let's go. Give me the green light like John Legend. I rolled in the sex, I'm a force to be reckoned with. Like Ralph, I'm wrecking shit. One day I'ma be on the jet with this. Where's Keisha? Cause I'm heaven sent. I got power like a 50 cent. I'm more certified than a president. Man, I'm telling you, I'm big step and big flex. Goddamn, I'm feeling like Hercules. Niggas aren't saying I'm not from Earth. That nigga must be from Mercury. I'm the man with that plan. Next year, my beer's gonna be on on demand. My shit stay crack is contraband. Only fans gon' understand, get a helping hand. I'm the main man, Batman. And you niggas rob his Hey, they like like how's he winning the race that pace when he's only jogging? Hey, I used to flex in the charger, now I'm making a cut like a barber. Hey, my dreams get close, not far. They ain't trying to give me advice. All right, so um, I want to cut. I want to make this video very short, just in case there are some Corvette owners that don't necessarily follow me and they're just using this video as a reference for info on their Corvette. Um, like I mentioned, these are I don't know if I mentioned it actually, but these are Pirelli Sato Zero tires. Um, and I when I ordered these tires. Or when I bought them used, I couldn't find any information of any anyone running these tires on a, on a C7 Z51 Corvette. Um, so for those of you that do have a Corvette, please pay attention to this video. I hope this video is really helpful. Um, to give you, a little, you guys a little bit of background, like I mentioned, I do live in central Illinois. And we got a lot of snow this year in uh, 2022, earlier this year. Um, we've, I've driven this car in a few snowstorms. I've driven it in like negative two degrees degree weather. You know, I've, I've had this car sit outside of my job for overnight. You know, I work nights and um, these tires have been doing very, very well. Um, I will also go further and say that I got these tires used actually locally. Um, someone was selling, uh, no, 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 not someone. Those for the Mustang. But um, these tires here in Illinois, there is a company called United Tires. And what they do is they sell refurbished uh, tires. And I picked these up for $250 for all four of them, which is a bargain. It's a really, really good bargain because I first, I thought that it would be really hard to find a tire that would also be staggered for the wheels. And then also just be as wide as you need the, need the wheel to be without being as tall because of the stance of the Corvette. So I'll link their store down below in the description. They have a website and they also have an eBay storefront where you can find all sorts of tires, summer tire, all season and winter. And that's why I found my tires for the Corvette. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around, let you know the specifics of the tires that I have on here because they are not factory spec. They're off by just a little bit and I'll go ahead and give you a review on them in just a moment. Okay, so starting with the front tires, um, I believe, and I'm, I apologize for the lighting, you can't really see it that well. Um, you won't be able to see the the size of it, but you'll get the you get a good idea. So, the front and rear tires were sold separately because of the staggered wheel setup that I have on this Corvette, or that all Corvettes have. And like I mentioned, this is the Z51 package with the Z51 wheels, which means I have 19 wheel 19 inch wheels in the front, and then I have 20 inch wheels in the back. So, I believe factory the front for the for this car. Uh, for the 2014 Z51, the stock setup is 245 19s, two, was it 245 35 in the front, and then the back is actually 285 30 in the back. Um, for winter tires, from what I've read, I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional, but just from what I've read, um, a, the width of the tire doesn't really matter all that much when you're trying to get um, grip in the winter. So this tire, or these bo both front tires, are 235 uh yeah they're 235 35 tires so the width of the tire is about 10 millimeters shorter and the, the height of the tire my auto motion sensor the height of the tire is stock so this is just 10 millimeters smaller and the um 
the height of the tire is the same. These, I believe the front two, the, the, again, like I mentioned, they are used because I only plan on using these in the winter. These were about $110 from the United Tires website that I mentioned earlier. They, they get a ton of inventory every day. And a lot of people, unfortunately, they do not buy winter tires. So I got a great deal on these. And I believe if you do a little bit of research, you can find yourself a nice set of tires like this as well. I'm going to go ahead and move towards the back and show you what's going on back there because the back the back tires are a little bit more interesting. Okay, now we're at the back and as you can see for my my fellow Z51 owners, you would know this is the stock wheel. You'll notice that this wheel is a little bit taller. It's got a little bit more meat on it. Now, um as you can see, it says Sato Zero which are I don't know if these are the series 2 or 3, not entirely sure. I just had the car wash by the way. That's why it looks really clean. Um, but you'll know that this tire looks a little bit taller, a little bit more meatier. Damn it. This light keeps going out. This, this tire looks a little bit more meatier. And that is because this tire is 285, uh, 35, um, R20s. And I believe stock is 285, 30, um, was it 285, 30, 20s. So this tire sits taller. And to me personally, I love the way it looks. The tire fills up a little bit more of that wheel gap and it makes the overall look of the car just a little bit more aggressive. And um, as you know, the Z51 cars do come with summer tires. Now, my car was used, it's a 2014, and so it's been through one owner. And the owner did have summer tires on it when I bought the car. But you may want to check if you bought your car used, you may have like different brand tires all around. But regardless, these summer, these uh, winter tires are a soft compound. If you don't know what winter tires are, they are a softer compound, which gives you a softer ride overall, which I'll get to in just a minute. But I want to talk about the height of the tire. Stupid auto motion sensor. I want to talk about the height of the tire because I do get a little bit of rubbing. And when I say a little bit, I mean a tiny bit. If there's a, a, um, a small undulation in the road, you won't feel anything. It'll just have to be a bigger bump, like a pothole or something. And you'll hear a little bit of rub. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm not driving at fast speeds anyway, but there is a small amount of rub. And I mean, maybe I'll rub maybe like once. <laughs> it's a funny sentence, but the car will rub maybe like once or twice a month, depending on where you're driving and everything and how fast you're going. So it's not that big of a deal. And since I'm only using these tires in the winter, it is definitely worth the trade off. It's nothing too crazy, nothing, nothing to uh, be completely worried about. But yeah, that's the setup. So 235. Eight, it was a 235 19th in the front and then uh 285s in the back which i have the stock width and then i don't have the stock height which gives it that uh the meaty look in the in the back which i actually like uh makes these tires look a lot better and now i will tell you a review on how these tires ride so let me go ahead and flip the camera around and give you my um my first impressions of driving this car oh i also have video of me driving this car in the winter i'm actually going to input that before my re my review so you guys will see that clip of me driving it up and down the street like i mentioned i did drive this car in the winter and i tried my best to get footage of it it's just not the easiest it's not the most easy thing to do while it's like 12 degrees outside to pick up a camera and a tripod and everything like that but i did try to get some footage for you guys so you'll see a little bit of that and then you'll see me again so here you go um Okay, what's going on YouTube? Um, I don't know what video this is going to go in, but um, whatever, wherever I decide to put this clip, this car is running uh, the Pirelli Sato Zero 285 in the, in the rear, and I believe these are 235s in the front. And um, my sidewall is a little bit higher. I mean, my uh, the height of the tire is a little bit wider. These are 35 instead of 30s in the back. And here in Illinois, we're having a pretty pretty big snowstorm right now and uh this corvette has been driving excellently in these tires i mean i have no negative complaints or anything about that um these are unplowed roads right here all slick all sleet um the snow is coming on pretty thick and i'm just driving my way back from uh from work it's like 2 a.m and i'm having no issues no issues um so yeah just to give you guys a quick little update on that or wherever this video decides to go i'm having no issues driving this car in the winter love it really fun really fun. okay so we're back and um as you can see in the video this car like i mentioned it, it handles great i love it 
um, especially when you're coming from summer tires. I believe you cannot drive those tires. Well, it's not safe to drive those tires in under 47 degrees. I know people that does it or that do it that, that will drive in whatever weather. Me, I didn't feel comfortable. I felt the loss of grip. I just did not like it. And plus, summer tires are as hard as a rock and it sucks. It just, you know, the it's just the driving comfortability is just really, really bad. And then it's also cold and it's just, it's the worst feeling ever. Now, um, I put these winter tires on my car, I think about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. Like I mentioned, I wasn't really driving it in the winter until my Mustang went into the shop. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see how these tires will do. And the second I put these tires on, the number one thing I felt was the difference in ride quality. Winter tires, man, what a difference. Uh, the second I put these tires on, bumps, it feels like this car drives, this car kind of starts to feel like a Dodge Challenger if, you, if you've ever driven one of those. Uh, those those cars are a little bit more comfortable. They have a little bit more of a supple ride. Um, when I put the, the the winter tires on, I got that kind of comfortability. Didn't feel comfortable like an Altima, but it did feel way, way more manageable in the winter because you're not trying to drive fast. You're just trying to get to where you need to go. Um, so this video is kind of for people that want to daily drive their Corvette or they want to see if they can get a little bit of fun in the winter if they equip their Corvette uh, properly with the proper tires. Let me get out of the light. But uh, yeah, I, I love them. I love them. I have no regrets. I got the wheels for, not the wheels, but the tires for a very good price. You know, I'm not upset at it at all. And I've never gotten stuck. I've driven, I think, with every single storm that we've had. I've gotten out of every situation. I've never been stuck. I've never been, I've never felt unsafe, It's which is weird to say. You know, I've never felt unsafe. And to be completely honest with you, my girlfriend has a 2006 Highlander. You know, it's a little crappy. You know, it's falling apart a little bit. But that car has all-wheel drive, but it has all-season tires on it. And I personally, I love rear-wheel rear -wheel drive cars. I lean towards driving my own cars, which is the Mustang and the Corvette. I like and I feel more comfortable in these cars than I do in her Highlander. I know uh, travesty to say, but these cars, you know, I feel great. <laughs> it felt great. So if you are thinking about using winter tires, definitely make the buy, especially if you can get a good deal on them. Some people may have different opinions on buying uh, used tires. I don't really mind it, you know, because I'm only going to be using them one one season out of the year. So it's not that big of a deal. And like I mentioned, I got these tires for 240 bucks, something like that. And I had them installed down the street. No big deal. Stored my summer tires under the house and boom. So now I've got this car I can drive in the in the winter if my Mustang is out, which it is, which there's a lot of modifications that has been done to that car since you guys have last seen it back in December. I think the last thing you guys saw was the GT brakes. I think maybe $4,000 worth of work and cosmetics has been put into that car that you haven't seen yet. So stay tuned and subscribe for that if you want to see that. But regarding these tires, no regrets. If you are in the market for some or you're debating about driving your Corvette in the winter and you're not one of those dudes that buy the car to drive them three months out of the year and you want to enjoy it all year round, this is the car and these are the tires to do it with. Um, I believe you have some other tires out there like the uh, Continental the Viking Contact uh, tires. I haven't had any review. No one's done any reviews on the Pirellis, and I love these. So, yeah. Um, uh, excuse me. One thing to note, though, you won't get the same performance as a summer tire. You will. Um, this car, you will break the tires a little bit more easily, depending on the temperature. If it's snowy out, if it's slushy out, uh, you will break the tires a little bit more easily than if you were in the summer on a summer tire. But that's to be expected, and that's that's okay. Um, these tires will definitely get you to where you need to go and I can highly recommend it. Um, and then just as a side note, my car is wrapped, so I don't really care about paint cause I just wash it. And then the vinyl takes care of all the salt and then just flies off. So I just wash the car often and then I'm back on the road like I did now. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I drive this car all the time. I drive my Mustang all the time. The Mustang also have, has Pirelli's Sato Zero tires on them as well, which I did get those used, which I'll make another video on that. But yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, anything you want me to make a video on, or if you see me doing something on my Corvette that you want to know how to do, let me know. I'm very active on Instagram, or you can leave it in the comment section down below. With that being said, remember I always say, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and be a love positive. I, I, I
my songs, every day is so repetitive I don't battle rap, but I ain't gon' lie, I am competitive I am the competition, I follow my intuition Back then, all I did was wishing, that time is really ticking I saw that sack, you know a nigga got to run it I, I, I am the king, and your bitch kingdom coming I'm